really unique, you don't see these in many places. So gives a clue on this one with the R-Hagels and stuff it's on the on the time rising. These plates uh, built by Sentinel. Yeah, they're still built in 1934. We've got the S4 at the front, four wheels, the S6 following up. You'll see the Bowden one behind, there's a horizontal boiler. This one is the one going past the 8-wheel is really bad. If you look up on an 8-wheel lorry today, there's a lot of change, apart from now a diesel engine. If you see the steering round now, it's four-wheel steer at the front. And there you go, we're doing a little turn of speed. So, best part, 50 miles an hour on the road. Wheel stop on a six-pence as well. But there's some of the few engines that can travel to the same rallies in the same day. So I've mentioned the Sentinel steam lorries, now you can see a Foden. So all of those Hazel ones are shark drive, like the modern lorry is today. If you look at the yellow Foden goes round, you see it's chain drive. So Foden were made up in Sandbats of Cheshire. And this one's owned by the Grenaway family, who have a large collection of engines to sew for actually in the village of Stoke Road. And not only full size, but also some mini engines as well. So we'll see if those come round. That's without the showman's fittings on. But here it is with all the brass and all the bits. So it's outside the beer tent last night. So if you didn't have a big showman's engine like Britannia and William in the middle, you might just have the showman's tractor version. Which was enough because you didn't always need the big attention, so they were just as useful for small, uh, Paul in the smaller rides and Paris as well. So still got a dynamo on the front, still more than capable of producing electricity to run the bigger rides. So we've seen the Wyatt and Stevens steam track, we've now seen an example of Wyatt and Stevens making a road roller. This was for Day to May, owned by the Wastel family. It was before we had the John Keaton sale a few years ago now. It was the only engine out for the auction of the organiser of the rally, so that's at Snow Hill there. That's a big part of it, a lot of engines up there, so quite a big collection, very important to say a few years ago. It's really nice to be staying in the area, because once the two has been built only down the road in Bates, though, it's one of our closest um, engine manufacturers. Station on his leg, he's also in car boiler with him. Oh, it's bad, I tell you, it's so behind, I should have seen that. So he's also a car boiler that goes ahead to his food, he's all there. So he's just fine. All over the place, roads and everywhere. So he does a fair few miles every single year on that one. New to rally scene this year, number 24. Started to not worry about spending two and a half hours seeing his up. No boys on board this time then. <laughs> no. So we've got a can about the Edison name, you see Edison on the side of the, the canopy there. So again, one of the ones that was hired. And if you also notice, the Edison rollers, a lot of them have got the FX registration. So they're all registered down in, uh, in Dorchester, and that's Dorchester down Dorset, not the one of Dorchester on Thames. So really nice to see Sony Bro come along. to a C-Type. And they've also got their Edison living van. So if you go and have a look on the line, you can see it from here, you can actually see the living van they would have had behind. Just gone past me is the Marshall Steam Roller. So we've seen quite a lot of Asian importers. But it's nice to see a Marshall one there, owned by Sam Begnall and family. So this one's a recent addition for the restoration with keeping these machines running. Oh, funny. 21 going past me now. I can say it now with Mr. and Mrs. Crump on board, so now they're married. Over the locally, it's basically what goes on the road. It's what nice on the road today. So I mentioned earlier about the uh, about the thorough showman's engine. So if you took all the showman's fittings off, some of the other engines, you can see this five on the horse, um, row local underneath. So it's really nice, it's a new addition here to Sofa Rally. Number 18, your programme, don't get down to um, the I don't want to tell you. Smith family going to see the year 2000 again these 20 years, but I was um, I was watching them polish this morning and I was, you know, really pleased that they could be in that big so really hey, hey, that. So we were going to see that. I was 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 going to see that. When they were using oh, around the country, and they were not being unusual to travel quite a lot all the way around the country as well. <laughs> So that pretty much concludes the full size steam engines. There is another one, Sally, on the saw bench that you go over and see. Very 
frequent on the road and they're three quarter size so it's unusual to have those. Moving on to our half size engine, so you've seen the full size road logo, this is a half size version, it's actually based on eight nominal horse barrel so you times that by two and it makes it a very big engine. Really capable of some power as well, so um, Michael driving that round by the always the all with family, he was quite easy pull one of the big showman's engines around for this, so they've got some real torque with those engines. So it's a three speed, so that's three gears, whereas a lot of these other engines are the two speed. Oh. So yesterday Sandra was with Ada and stayed with George, that's nice, they just spread the love. So I just spoke about the Grenway family, so this is one of their half-size engines. Again, imagine timing this by two to make a full-size engine, it's a Fowler V6, so on the big road location. It's really nice to see it in, in this kind of working clothes because they wouldn't have had all the fans, you know, the fancy brass things like a lot of them have today. They would purely just be plain and black and just nice to go to work engines. So I just missed which number just went past me there. I think it was a four inch carrot. I'll go with number 11 next. So he's my neighbour, Captain. This is a. This is so Melvin's not only an accomplished engineer for building that engine, he also loves his railway locos as well. So in the summer he spends time out in the rally fields, in the winter he's out in the Model Railway Club as well. So don't have a number of years, and every weekend, pretty much in the summer, Melvin is somewhere with his engine. Another faraway traveller, number 19, going past me. So very unusual, because there aren't many of these fouls at all. So a four-inch scale fowler. Born in here, right? So owned by...
around the outside of the arena, the engines are starting to move out, please do go and see them on their pegs. The owners are more than willing to talk to you about these engines. It almost looks a bit like organised chaos at the moment, they're on leaving, but they all know where they're going. If you watch some of these miniature engines leaving, you'll realise the turn of speed they can actually go as well. So, as quick as some of the full-size rollers, it's not unusual for them to go in sort of six, seven miles an hour. Especially the foster coming past me when he knows there's a pub run involved. Some of the engines that stay and are starting to reverse down to the back of the field. So road rollers were designed to go very slowly, so in the slow race they should do pretty well. But as we found out yesterday, some of the, um, the lorries can also go very slow. The other ones to watch, they don't really have flywheels, so you've got to watch the prop shaft to see if that starts moving. So we've also put in a couple of half-size engines, so right on the outside, you can have Jordan, and you can have Shane as well, the power six-inch engines, so we'll see who's going to win out those two. So we'll group them all together. And I have to make an apology for engine number 11, so I called it the wrong thing. So it's an Iroquois roller, that's your manufacturer, it's actually made in Buffalo in the States, so it's not a Buffalo roller, apologies. I do try to remember as much as I can about these engines, but then if I'd actually read it as you went past, it even tells you on the side, so. <laughs> So the engine's actually going backwards at the moment, so you can see 
They find, you, that's the way you travel on the road, I think, is in that way, so you can see where you're going, as opposed to having quite a long to come to you. So the engines are all just starting to line up. Right, so a little bit of organisation with these. We're going to try and group these engines together so they're almost racing with their own classes. So the steam rollers going together. Then we'll have the lorry on the outside as well. We've got two half size engines together. Right, so we're just lining these engines up now, so we're, we're running about right on time here, so the quarter past two, we're having one of the marching bands going back into the ring. No pressure band, he's just got to steer those two trailers out of the ring, so he's been very careful as he takes those out. So we've got the Foden 9 inch scale lorry against one of the Sentinels. We're really lucky to have five Aving rollers that will be competing for the Aving Championship. Yesterday we had the Battle of Didcot between Gary Reynolds and Dan Wood. And then on the outside here we've got the Rogue engine owners. So we've got Darren who's on the Garrett 4 CD. We've got Shane on the half size old chicken. And actually this one's got no driver now, so who are we going to put on this one? So we've got most of them lined up, we're just getting the last couple lined up now. So you'll notice some of these engines are really trying to get to the back of the back of the pen here so they can get the the quickest start. Right, just getting our last engine lined up and we can get started on this, just waiting for Garrett to leave. He's just heading that way now. Under the watch fly of Izzy there with the Garrett. So the S6 has changed drivers today. So Harry won yesterday. So there's a bit of a debate whether that was uh, completely without cheating yesterday. That's from one of his fellow uh, central drivers as well saying that, so. No reversing cameras on these, so if there's two people in the car, you'll be getting someone out to watch you back.
You look on the side of the board, you never count counts. A lot of the councils on the side have their own rollers. And if you didn't have a roller, it would be the council, you would hire them from one of the companies. So you saw a shade roller, had bumps on the side, and this one has Edison. So again, they were two big roller hirers at the time. So the next one coming on is done by the Wood family this up. So Dan cheats this year, we did row it up here, he put on the back of the loader so he ran out of time. But Dan's quite happy to go on the road. And then you can't hear what I'm saying, you suddenly realise when you're in a roller like that, the noise of the gears inside. The engine um, had a boy in the back. Coming out to these two rolls on this side, we've had all of them got their drain cocks open, so that's trying to help move the steam out to make them even slower. The phone lorry is going to take a quick lap round and leave as well. Thank you much for taking part. band coming in uh, so that's in about five minutes time so grab yourself some refreshments uh, because of the weather today make sure you keep taking on board taking on board plenty of water uh, and equally if you've got dogs please make sure that you keep them hydrated as well Thank <laughs> you. 